Hey. All right, guys. Welcome to the 24th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key. Got John here with me. Got Jay here with me. Boom. You already know how to fuck with rocking, man. We're back with another episode. We appreciate everybody that's rocking with us. Everybody that subscribed, like, shared. You know what I'm saying? It's just in a vibe. You know, vibing with us, man. We appreciate it for sure. So, you know, light up. Light your shit, roll your blunt, roll your J, pack your bong, pack your bowl, get your torches ready, and get rocking Bitch. with us, man. You already know how the fuck we're coming. Let me give you perspective. You see how big this is? This is my fucking index finger. This is the size of the fucking bat I roll. Get some fucking perspective on that shit. That's a doink over there, Mav. Jesus Christ, That's I'm going to smoke the shit out of it. I'm going to tell you what, guys. What's up, man? I remember back in the day when, when, you people, had nothing to when say? people had nothing to say. Mm. Now mm. I got tattoos all over my body. In <laughs> one spot, but okay. Uh, he said, I'm, peeling, I'm peeling like an iguana. He said, You're peeling like a yeah. fucking salamander over there. I'm I not am. gonna lie. I am, I am. It's fucking crazy, but you know what? It didn't really hurt, guys. It was fire. Nah, that shit came out fire. Yeah, I'm just peeling, so when it's done, it's gonna look good. Gonna that shit's good. gonna look good. But yeah, man, we're back with another episode, so light up. That's what I'm about to do real quick. Fucking. <sighs> well, yeah, man, you know, for shout out of the day. Yeah, man. Go ahead and get into our shout out of the day. Shout out of the day goes out to uh, Kwong Duck. If for those of you that don't know who that is, that is a uh, monk that set himself on fire in protest for uh, monks. Yeah, back in 1963, June 11th, um, it was a Vietnamese Buddhist monk who burned himself to death at a, bu- at a busy intersection. That was noble. That was yeah. noble of him. Shout out to you, man. Because if I'm going to protest, you better watch out I don't burn you. Facts. I'm going to throw a I'm not burning myself. whole cocktail at your ass. I'm definitely not burning myself to protest. That's yeah. the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, Who the bro, fuck burned himself? It was for the government, I guess. You know what I mean? So, like they were oppressing them the or something? Government. Is that like, what it said? Yeah, like, they were oppressing all the Buddhists and stuff like that. Not Buddhists, but all the monks. You know what I mean? Um, That's an extreme. Yeah. Thing, Get bro. yourself like, the fucking yeah, anarchist yeah. cookbook. Be so, a terrorist. So the Buddhists of South Vietnamese... Um, and it was led by Den Dem. Oh, Dem boys. Shit. I know them boys. Dembo. It was more than one person? Uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, Dem. Yeah, it was multiple people. Oh, shit. Well, shout out to all y'all, man. That takes yeah. balls. I'm shout not going to lie. Boys. Shout out to them Their shout out of the day just because that shit takes balls to do, bro. Yeah, For definitely. real. Like, I that's, can barely that's stand, stand getting burned with pork chop grease. Some niggas are scared to stand outside with a sign, mm-hmm. let alone set themselves on fire. But yeah, man. So shout out of the day goes to them guys, man. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, but um, but yeah, man. We're gonna go ahead and get into the first topic that we're we're trying to discuss. Jay brought up, and it's a, it, it opens up a good conversation, man. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen the video of the uh, high school coach getting yep. beat up by his own players for standing up for another student that was being bullied by those players. Um, yeah, man. Take it away, Jay. How do you feel about it? You know what I feel? This is my question. When I saw the video, some three decent-sized young men, because they're not kids, they're young men. Young men. Right? And obviously, this teacher got beat the fuck up by these kids. But my question, when is it a right time for me to defend myself? Like, I feel like I would have swung on the first one. And once the first one went down, the other two would have gone. But the thing is, when is it okay? Because now if he would have swung and knocked one of those kids down, oh, he would have got hit in a child, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like when I was 16. A child. Yeah. That's what they try to say. That's what the court is going to say, a child, because it's a minor. You know what right. I'm saying? But, but in they, reality. If you could charge a 16-year-old with a fucking adult charge for doing an adult thing, then. You should be able to get punched in the face. You should be able face. to get punched in the face yeah. if you're doing an adult mm-hmm. thing. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. Going after right. a grown man, you know what the consequences are. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So why should you have to pay the nah, consequences? Nah, bro, and it, it's just that. sad that it's like, like you can't even have somebody stand up for somebody yeah. without it being, you know, them being a victim too, bro. Like, at the end of the day, man, I hope that the parents of those kids whoop their motherfucking ass. Mm, Not that right. we condone ass whoopings, by the way. But I condone ass whoopings. I condone I got ass kids. whoopings. I whoop their ass all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I tie them to the water heater. I used to get my ass Fifteen all the time. seconds, no more. Man. I feed them for like I don't feed them for days. Sometimes no, I'm just <laughs> my kidding. Dad, Only my dad like two days. Guys, he doesn't do any of that. Don't come looking for him. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I love my kids, kind of. <laughs> Fact. Oh shit, that's scary. Now, how do, you, how do you feel about it, John? How do you feel about uh, you know, like three or four teenagers? Nah, that are almost grown jumping on you and whooping your ass. I'll I'll be really upset. You know what I mean. Would you fight back? Would you hit him back? Yeah, I will. 
I will. And if I would probably get fired, you know what I mean? Because... Nah, yeah, we're gonna have to face whatever we face later, but yeah, I'm I'm swinging. Yeah, if it's like four or five people trying to hit me, like come on, man. or three, it was three, but yeah, like, I gotta defend my life. I was scared for my life, so you know, it's not I mean? even about that, bro. It's like y'all want to fight like grown men. Let's fight like grown men. I'll knock two of y'all out real quick. Bing bow, fold your ass, mm. and mm. then let's see if the last one still has the balls to come. Mm. That's facts. Real talk. Like, Back like my dad used to say, if you want to go out there and be a, a grown man in the street and not like a grown man in the hey street man. and a grown man fucks you up, don't come crying home. Facts. Like I was telling Jay, bro, before we, you know we cut the cameras on, like, bro, I would me as a parent, I would have made my son line it up with that teacher. Yeah, I would have been like, yes. all right, get it. Run it. Line it up. Square up. You a man, nigga. Now go head to head one on one. And then I told Hector I would have jumped in and kicked my kid in the face a couple of times. And been like, how you like it? How you like getting jumped, huh, you little shit? Nah, facts, bro. Real life lessons. Real shit. So, nah, but dead ass. Sometimes you need that lesson in your life. You need that good ass whooping. Yeah. yeah so facts. that you know, like, you're not at that level, nigga. You had two other people with you jumping on one person. My mom used facts. to whip my ass a lot. And um, my mom fought like a man. So thank you, mom. Hey, bro. For making me the man I am today. Facts. <laughs> my fucking mom used to throw anything in sight. <laughs> Yeah, my mom used to whoop my ass till I got too big. And then she just started using weapons. These Hispanic moms just got this blind fury kind of rage. <laughs> you know what I mean? They black the fuck out. You wake up in the corner breathing heavy, bleeding out your nose. And you're like, are you okay, papito? Papito, are you fine? What happened? And I'm like, mom, you kind of like the table and uh... Nah, Hispanic, <laughs> Hispanic parents will do that shit quick, man. For real, for real. For real. But yeah, bro. Gotta love our culture. Yeah, that that's how we feel do about that culture. situation. You know what I mean? Like... Shout out to that coach for not, you know. But you should be ass, able to punch. At the same time, you should have punched one of them yeah. in the mouth. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. But yeah, man. We're going to go ahead and get into our next topic, which is something that, you know, opens up a, a, a bigger conversation. Should prostitution be legal? Legal. Ooh. Legal. Uh, Ooh. Should you, got, so like, should you like be able Amsterdam? to pay for pussy? Should like you Amsterdam? be able to pay for pussy and not get locked up for it? Like Amsterdam, huh? Yeah, man. You know what I think, like these, to be like honest? Vegas? It's do it at your own risk. You know, like, it's like everything else. There's going to be legit spots, but then there's going to be the underground spots where, the, you know, people ain't getting tested, and you might catch an STD. Those will be cheap, like everything else. But yep. at the end of the day, it's like, it's going to happen regardless. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. You see what yeah, I'm trying to say? Happen. It's like, so why not legalize it, tax it like marijuana, and hey, Uncle Sam's got some money in his pocket. Don't act like you don't want hookers, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam got hookers. Half the escorts. motherfuckers around the government are paying for those high end escorts. Facts. Look at Spitzer. That's what Elliot I'm Spitzer from New York. What was it? The the governor or whatever. Yeah. And he got caught with that shit. Getting using taxpayer money to fund fucking cause these uh escorts ain't cheap. Nah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, like hookers and escorts are two it, different things. It's a planes. different bracket. Yeah. yeah, it's a completely yeah. different bracket. A man. hooker will suck your dick for ten dollars. <laughs> An escort is gonna cost you about ten bands. Fact. She's she's the high she's the high end one. You need to fly in, get mm -hmm. get a hotel for first class. You know what I mean? Everything. Not worth it. Nails yeah, done. Nah, it's done. just Everything. vagina. Remember this, guys. Guys, don't ever in your life <laughs> do some dumb shit like that. <laughs> don't spend man. fucking ten bands. Yo, you see them women that sell their virginity to like those like sheiks from hey, like Arab sheiks and for like million dollars, and they buy it. They I ain't buy judging it. them, bro. That's a hustle. That's a fucking. So hustle. somebody's like, yo, somebody come to you like, yo, low key, you sell your ass virginity for a million dollars? Oh no 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 hell no. And then some, I just don't. I just and then some gay them. nigga gonna be like, bro, but it's okay, do nah, it. Nah. It's a hustle. I'm straight. <laughs> it's not okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fact, I'm straight. You nah. know what I'm saying? You, what you good fuck? over there, but. But nah, bro, I just respect the hustle, bro. But like, you got to you, think. If, if you're a, a million, female, think about it. If you were a 17, 18-year-old female, right, and you didn't have no way of fucking paying for nothing, and some billionaire but prince was like. But there's limits to that, though. Because you got to think. Okay, somebody could do that to you, right? But then you find out the bitch is like a fucking ugly, disgusting ass. Like, I mean, it doesn't have good hygiene. Like, oh, yeah, and then yeah. you're just like, yo, but it's a million dollars. Oh, yeah, but you got to go down on her. There's certain things she wants you to fulfill there for that million dollars. You, know, you got to work. Nah. You know what? So then what I, would you I do? Know, would, you, would you be with a big woman? Yeah, oh, hell yeah. I don't, I don't discriminate is, when it comes to size. Women. women are women. There's beauty in, in all sizes. Fact. You know, I heard, I heard that they'll change your oil. You know, they'll make you a sandwich. They scrub, scrub your feet. feet. Yeah, the Ivan shit. Yeah. Don't listen to fucking Ivan. <laughs> no, shout, shout out to, to Ivan, though. Shout out to Ivan, for real, because that's what he told me. He's like, you know what? Fucking fat women, they, they He also told you that there, you would find no better job than 
just floors, but you know that's a different conversation. Yeah, <laughs> fucking <laughs> shout out, <laughs> shout out to you, Ivan. But right. yeah, bro. Nah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like prostitution should definitely, definitely be legal, bro. It happens anyway. There's states that already have it that are legal. Honestly, you know what I'm saying. You could go out to Vegas and hit a brothel. I mean, I just don't understand why it's it's illegal. natural though. It's natural. Do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, bro. It was like one of the first professions ever found on planet Earth. Literally. Literally. Because you got to think, though, like, but I just don't understand, like, what is the point of making it illegal? What are they gaining from it? Besides just arrest, finding you. And, arrest, you know? bro, and money. Because they feel like they can make more money off of arresting it's people. It's just them trying them to control you. And then, then yeah. they can from actually fucking doing it, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know, bro. It's all about control and money at the end of the day. But I feel like it should be legal. I feel like it should be legal. Like I said, it's one of the oldest practices in nature, which leads us into the next topic that we have, which is um, chimp hookers, man. There was a study done by two <laughs> students at <laughs> Yale or from yeah. Yale. And, um, yeah, they they taught these, like, nine chimpanzees how to use currency. You guys can look this up, Google it. It's true. They, they used these nine chimps, taught them how to use currency, like, with these, you know, coins or whatever, some shit like that. And the first thing that the female chimpanzee started doing was... Selling poutine. Selling poutine. And we ain't talking about juice. Yeah, man. We ain't talking about juice, but she had that drip. She had the drip, man, and she (laughs) she was selling it for the chips. And then she went and bought a grape. She was... Yo, 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 she said, I'm going to buy me some fruit. Bitch. Yo, she was swinging all that I'm shit, parched. pussy. Yeah. I'm parched. Yo, I my, need a grape. My pussy needs some, some fruit. Grape juice. My pussy need a refill. <laughs> <laughs> some juice. Yo, nah, bro. When I read that story, I was too fucking high to make any sense of it. But I did laugh really, really hard. That's fucking crazy, though, how, like close we are how <coughs> how close we are to chimpanzees and like how do you really think we came from them like what do you think nah because why nah. the fuck are they still here yeah why they never they evolved <laughs> exactly. they why stopped. are they still here exactly if they were continuing to evolve then i'd believe it yeah then i'd be like damn yo you Fact. so human but nah chimps have been the same way for a long time and I mean they have made certain of, there's been some really smart chimps and shit that do certain but you know what some real shit is the earth is flat. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. You really think that, bro? Because last time, I thought you were playing. You really think that? Yeah, the earth is flat. Nah, I don't believe it. Do you see? Did you see all the facts? Nah, I don't know I don't if you're know. being sarcastic. You really think that? No, he's being, Google it. He's being so serious right now. I Google it. I'll tell you something. You know who told me that? My brother-in-law. And I'm like, you get the fuck out of here, right? Yeah, the earth is not flat. And I thought that, right? But... I don't believe, but you got to think. Go look at all the stuff that they have on it. It'll make a believer out of anybody. Because they show you some shit that you're just like, holy fuck. Like, and then they have interviews with people who worked at NASA, and they say certain shit. And then you're just like, damn, like, okay. so And then they have proof like from different sources, like old encyclopedias. And then they have the same version of encyclopedia now that has certain chapters and shit taken off. And they'll show them like, side by side. So you just think to yourself, like, what the fuck is it then? You know? And they even go all the way to the Bible where it talks about it. You see what I'm saying? And I'm just like, when you, you know, it's, like a, it's one of those rabbit holes, like the, like Illuminati. Like when you start watching Illuminati videos, like you get into it, and before you know it, you're going to be a month. Just because you get hooked. Because they show all these different things. They talk about like weapons that are in the army that wouldn't work if the earth was round. That the only way these weapons, and they show proof, like, Boom, with shots from the army and, like, scales. And you know what I'm saying? My like, they nigga, map that shit nigga. out. Uh, you got to look it up. Because uh, the thing is, I said the same thing you did. See? So I'm talking from a perspective. Like, I was saying what you said. But when you look at it, you got to go and look. Uh, and then if you're not convinced by what you see, then that's cool. But the thing is, I'm telling you, you're going to you know be what? convinced. You know what? I'm going to give you that benefit of the doubt. Because I haven't done enough research It's just on convincing. It. You right. see what I mean? Like, but I'm not saying same, it's true. At the same time, I just, I don't know, man. There's, there's. A lot of proof that says otherwise, too. Like, all the pictures that they've taken. But then there's those guys from the the interviews from the people from NASA that be like that those pictures were all generated from different tiny images. That there's never been a real full image of the Earth taken from space. Man. Look it up and see. Even if it was a bunch of tiny images, that 
all those tiny images make up that one image. But the thing is, the way they describe right. the way the satellites work, the thing is, I can't explain it to you. You got to see it from the professionals. You see what I mean? Because yeah. it, it, you're just going to listen to me and be like, oh, I don't believe it. But when you see what nah, they show you. Right. I got to look shit You up. see what I, I mean? When up. they show you the proof, then it's different. Because my but, brother-in-law told me. And then Ivy's like, babe, do you think? I'm Ivy not, I'm not going to lie to you, though. It sounds crazy. It sounds dumb as fuck to me. It sounds crazy. Like, but sounds... when you see the proof, though, that's what gets you. I it's the like... images. I feel like I don't know what to believe anymore. No, I'll tell you what I believe. You know, you know what I mean? Because we have food either. stamps. I, I don't people even... that fucking apply for food stamps should get drug tested. That's what I believe. I'll tell I tell you that, Marvin. God what do you feel damn. about it? You know what? I feel like they should be tested for any hard, hard drugs. Hard, hard, hard drugs. drugs. Hard drugs. Yeah. You know, medical don't marijuana. include medical marijuana. Or uh, meth. Nah. <laughs> or meth. <laughs> No meth, no crack, no PCP. You know, you know how you know how you, you know how you dip you dip the cigarette you dip the cigarette in the fucking joint. I mean, in the fucking juice. No acid. Get the fuck out of here. You know that drug? Acid? No, the what? drug that you you drop your cigarette PCP. PCP. Right? Yeah. What? Get the fuck out of here. You yeah. never seen this? No. Nah, I'll get the fuck out of here. Oh, that's crazy. What is bro. it? It's like it's PCP. Some, it, it, it's a cigarette dipped in PCP, liquid PCP. I know what PCP is, bro. We go. Ow! Ow! Damn, bitch, you want to fucking tone your fucking voice? Somebody gave me a joint one time laced with PCP. It was the worst experience of my life. What? I thought I was gonna die. For real? Yeah, and that was the last time that I st- that I smoked like with people at a party. Like if I didn't see you fucking break that bitch down and put that bitch in the in the leaf, nah. Yeah, that happened to me too. Yeah. I did Molly in Puerto up. Rico on accident. Yeah, bro, that shit yeah. fucked me up. I smoked Molly, bro, and I got I got fucked Yo, up. No, I'm not gonna Scary. lie. I got laced one time. I don't know what it was. Oof. I think it was coke. So I grinding my teeth. I couldn't pee. <laughs> Damn, nigga. Yeah, I was like this. <laughs> that shit fucked you up. Yeah, I was like. That nigga was <laughs> doing the Ray Charles on the corner. Like, he's like, I couldn't pee. Yo, I went around the corner and I, yo, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, don't do drugs. And watch who you buy your drugs from if yeah, you do. For yeah. real. And whoever for rolls real. up, make sure that you just watch and roll it up and see what the fuck it is. Or how about yeah. you just buy some yourself and roll it up yourself, you fucking kite. <coughs> yeah. They got test kits now, bro. We live in the generation where people can safely do drugs if they wanted to. Yeah. You know they what I mean? Acid test kits. They got all kinds of test kits yeah. now. You could test to make sure like any kind of drug is real. Nah, facts. So if you're really gonna be about that drug life, man, be smart, be safe, test that bitch. You won't have Don't no fentanyl, no, no fentanyl. Mm-hmm. You know, fentanyl no, that's what's killing lot. motherfuckers. But Shit people are cut. giving, getting, like buying straight fentanyl, and not they don't Fiends. know it. They don't yep. know it, bro. They don't know, bro. But you know what's because fentanyl is super cheap. Did you yeah. see that guy that I watched the documentary? That shit comes from he was, China yeah, for he was ordering cheap, it from China for cheap. Facts. And then he was like cutting like, and he was just a regular suburban dad. Mm-hmm. You would have never thought he got really? busted, bro, because a package got to this house because they were starting to get overdoses everywhere. And they were like, yo, this small town is getting all these overdoses. And yo, but that's, some dude. that's what fucks you up, bro. In the movie American Gangster, that's what fucked Frank, Frank Lucas up. Bro, but they weren't Everybody illegal. Everybody started dying. You saw how every, yeah, was, Blue a Magic. spike, a yeah. spike in fucking deaths. Cops aren't playing around bro, with that because shit. Bro, because he thought that pure you know what I'm shit, like, bro. Nah, Frank yeah, Lincoln? that shit was yo. That was pure. pure. Even like, when he, he cut it, straight. it was still pure. I think it had balls, man. Like, oh, yeah. he, he, he's a, he's a snitch. I can't yeah, ride with him. Takashi. Nah, people were talking about how uh, they were praising fucking Popeye. Uh, well, man, yeah, he's a snitch too. Yeah, then, yeah, bro. I told you. Yeah. Chota. Yeah. Chota. Sapo, cabrón. Sapo. Cookie. Can't do that. Can't do that. Sapo. Yeah, Sapo. Man, we don't condone snitching on the show either. And drug guys. test motherfuckers for hard drugs before you give them food stamps. Yeah, man. For real. Going back to that main point. Yes. Yo, in the small town where I used to live if at. If you're going to be on food stamps, bro, and getting free fucking food from other people that are working, you should at least that comes out not be fucking like, you know, on That's drugs. true. Bro, I went to court for a parking ticket in the little town that I used to live at, and everybody there was there for food stamp fraud. You know what it means? Damn. That means that they were getting food stamps and selling them for money. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm going to give you $100 worth of food stamps for $50. Yeah, I yeah. know. Because niggas would come niggas over. I've actually, I bought it. I've done it. I've done it, too. Bro, I've that's a federal offense. But 
Regardless. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> prove it. Prove it. Felony. <laughs> yeah, man. No, I was kidding. hungry. I'm just kidding. I don't know if that's I a felony. I was fucking or. hungry, dog. Yeah. Uncle Sam <laughs> steals enough from taxpayers, so don't worry, guys. People be fiending, bro. I remember some dude was like, "Yo, I'll give you five hundred dollars. All you gotta do is give me one fifty. Nah. Damn. Yeah. Bro. I was like, "Damn, all right." Niggas is fucking mm-hmm. wild. Nah, I'm good. I'm fucking good. <laughs> bro. Nah, I took it. Yeah, bro. I mean, you won that day. You know what I'm saying? You won that day, bro. You was a winner. But you know what fucking sucks? Sore losers. Sore sore fucking losers. losers. That's right. Fucking, yo, man. You know, I beat somebody. I'm not even going to say your name, dog. But you know who it is. He don't even watch the show. But you know what? He's a sore loser. I whooped his ass. He called me out. I said, okay, let's play. Suck a dick. (laughs) You know what? I whooped his fucking ass. He whooped his fucking ass, Johnny. And you know what? I felt like a fucking G. But you know, he didn't really take the loss too lightly, man. You know what I'm saying? Like he was kind of like, "Fuck!" Like that's ego, bro. You know what I mean? Like you lose, you ego. lose. Like I don't know about. Like I don't care if I lose. That is, I don't know. I feel like, like it's you just, win some, you lose you some. Lose yeah, some. You win, Honestly, you win, you that's lose. That's what anything. That's what fighting, unless Fact. you're Mayweather. That's what fucking. <laughs> you win and you lose. You know what I'm saying? You win some, you lose some. That's how it goes, bro. But you live. But if you, you ain't fight another but day, if you ain't first, you're last. If you ain't that's first, true. you're last. If you ain't first, you're last, boy. If you're second, you're the first loser. Facts. Ooh, there you, you go. Piece of shit. Remember that. You motherfucker. Nah, man, but sore losers are just fucking assholes. Yeah, nah, man, yeah. if you lose, but, just lose. But Jay, yeah, you know, bro. Jay was telling me about, yeah, tell, about Telling us story. about his son. About you know, your son. Oh, yeah, my son wanted to play Mario Kart with me. Mario he's five Kart. years old. We're playing Mario Kart, and he starts losing, and then he starts crashing. Not giving a fuck. So I'm like, you know what, Roman? I'm done. I'm not playing with you. Don't call me here to play games if you're going to act like a poor sport. My wife's but, like, pero baby, baby, you take it easy. Yeah, okay. Five. I'm like, nah, he's going to learn today Today. that you ain't going to be a poor sport. If you're going to lose and you're going to be a crybaby, don't call me in here to play games. But guess Come what, on. guys? Now he's not. Now when he loses, he's like, good job, Papa. You did good. He's like, I'm a good sport. I'm like, yeah, yes, you yeah, are. You bro. better be a good sport. That's right. I whooped that ass, nigga. That's good. That's good. No, but yeah, don't be a, don't be a poor sport, okay? Because then you're a piece of shit, and nobody Fact. wants to hang out with you. Yeah. So if you true. lose, you lose. Fact. Some people just lose for life. Maybe you were born a loser, like your fucking parents. <laughs> Who you knows? Know what? You know what? <laughs> no, fact. Shout out to Dan Pena. He taught me that. <laughs> oh, boom. <laughs> That's funny. For real, for real. Nah, man. But no, Yo, man. That's cash your credit. Yeah, cash your credit, bro. Man. Um, fuck, fuck, man. That's a hard one to say. <laughs> Because we live in the 21st century, of course, so, you know. I feel like credit's important. Credit man. is important, really important. Without credit, you can't get shit. But the system goes down. But if the system goes down, cash is king. Mm-hmm. So, ultimately, cash. What's cash. that movie called when, when everything goes to shit? Fucking, uh. Why 2K? No, he has to bring the Bible, and he's blind. Oh, Book of Eli? Yo. Oh, that's. I'm gonna tell you. Yo, that movie's fucking dope. I love that shit. Yeah, But bro. you know what? It's just like that. The cash, oh, that's why they tell you during the hurricanes. <coughs> you know, they're like, oh, if you gotta get cash out of the ATMs, because the, AT, the cars and machines will be down, you won't be able to. Why? Because the only way you're gonna be able to survive is through cash. That's it. Yeah, bro. If not, And honestly, dead. honestly, I think that. <laughs> We would we would still have a currency. Like if there were to be no more credit, you can't go to the bank. We could still have a currency. Oh yeah, yeah, pussy, cash. pussy and ass, pussy ass and uh cash. Mostly ass. Yeah, mostly ass. Mostly ass. Ass, ass is gonna be taken everywhere. Yeah, there's gonna be ass yeah, taken everywhere. That's true. In every corner, there's gonna be that's so much ass trying to be up. sold that people are like, I don't want that anymore. All right, I'm not gonna give you four yeah, cans yeah, of beans. We gotta start for trading ass. chickens again, guys, because yeah. this ass shit is getting out of control. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> everybody wants to sell their booty. Nah. It's like in Florida. You come to Florida, everybody's fucking panhandling in the corner. I'm like, no. get a fucking job, you peasant. <laughs> you, know you want a tip? That's fucked up. Nah, I feel but like... nah, uh, yo. Go ahead, John. Nah, I feel like cash is important, though. So you would choose cash, too? Yeah, yeah. Cash. So ultimately, yeah. all three of us choose cash. Guys, Fuck go him. down in the comments and let us know if you would choose credit or cash. Cash rule everything you know I mean? around me. Cream. <laughs> I think you heard our, our answer here. We would definitely choose cash ultimately. Cash, grass, but, or ass. But, but. Nobody rides for free. Credit is important, guys. Get but your credit like, up. But like realistically in the, the realistic world. Get your credit up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get your yeah, credit yeah. up. If you want to buy a house, you want to get anything, you know, important. Don't buy a house. A house is a depreciating asset. Facts. Buy multi-unit properties, guys. You heard it yes. here first. Yes. yes. Multi-unit yes. properties. Flip yeah. that money. Get yep. it. Get your money working for you. Yep. That's right. And you know what? Vatos are us. 
I had an argument <laughs> with somebody today. I told him, I said, I want to be my own boss, bro. Tell him, bro. What's wrong what? with that? And you yeah. know what? He had nothing to say to me. Fuck him. Who was it? Fuck him. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We, we got workers. And we got people that are meant to be bosses. Facts. I was told that I'm gonna by tattoo one that of my on my homegirls one time, man. I'm gonna tattoo for real, that on for my real. Face. I was told that by one of my homegirls. She told me straight up. She said, listen, man. You can't be mad at people for not seeing the same vision that you had. Because you have a boss mentality. And they're just workers. Boom. Mm. D. Yo, you know Amber Rose? Yes. The ball had a bitch. Yes. Did you see the tattoo that she oh, got? Oh, I didn't see it, nah. but I heard that that shit Yo, was she hurt. got her kid's name tattooed on her forehead. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Bro, bro, people are too much. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. We sure. get it. You're a mom. Why on your forehead? She thinks that that's, that's, that's going to justify that's the stupidity. Wiz. That's Wiz Khalifa. I know. That, that's what I was telling you, bro. Oh, yeah. Pick a good teammate. Yeah. And then his, isn't his name like, what's his son's name? Uh, I don't know, man, but he looks just like him. Nah, shout out to the kid, but it's like a name that's not regular. So, like, you can see it. You know what I'm saying? You see, Even you gotta more. look at that picture. It looks crazy. Oh, man. No. Nah, I don't she, know why she's the fuck She's still she bad. She, I still hit. We'll put the link in the description. She's so weird. Would you still hit with the face tat? Man, you know what? I gotta be careful what I say. But you know what, man? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just tied down. No! No, just, don't no. tell me that. We can't pod no nah, more. Nah, we could talk. We could talk, but just no. Oh, oh, shit. oh no. I can't be the only one, guys. You in love. I'm you know, married. Hey, you know, I'm yeah, saying. You're the one, you're the the one that one. vouched for love like the other fucking month. So you choose love? Yeah, I choose love, and then we can get the love. Then we choose cash. Nah, but you know what I like? Cash. Cash. <laughs> cash rule everything around me. Cream. Damn, John. Well, fuck it. So you wouldn't. You can't. You can't no more. No more. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. You can't hit Amber Rose no more. John's tied down. Shout out to you, John. That's Shout sweet. out to John oh, getting you know tied hey, down. Hey, hey, you never know. You never know. He's faithful, ladies. He's I'm faithful. Party, hey, hey, you, never you see know. how faithful John is? Hey. You want to have a baby with him? Hit him in the DM on the low. Yeah, that's, that's right. Tell him, you know John. I mean? Nah, nah, nah. You know what? I love you, baby. I'll never do you wrong. Oh, oh, this guy. Oh, fucking guy over here. He put his 2 a.m. voice on. He said, I love you, baby. Yeah. 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 Some drink shit. Yeah. Hey. Got two perks and I want I'm just saying you <laughs> can do better. Hey, guys, 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 guys. But, you know, we forgot to tell these people to like and subscribe. Yo. No, we told them like three times. But what's yeah, up? Yeah. We, again. Be, we like, be saturating subscribe, that shit. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> let, ev- let all your friends know, man. Come vibe with us. Come smoke a J with us, man. Nah, because we running out of time. You know what I mean? So we, we just got to yeah, be bobbity. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us, guys. For real. Seriously, sincerely. We appreciate all of you guys. We we you know we want you guys to keep rocking with us and and share like subscribe and mm. um Damn. yeah hit the notification bell yeah notification don't be a bitch bell. don't let be a your bitch. peoples know we will be giving sign away at a thousand subscribers it seems like people don't want anything because yeah. people don't subscribe or share but I mean that's cool it's because cool. Facts. it just money keeps money in our pocket so yeah. go fuck yourself hey, facts. you know what <laughs> no, I'm just kidding I just kidding. I appreciate no, no, but, but no, but, 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 go but fuck fact. yourself let us know what you want and um if not yeah, fuck man. you wow yeah. Fuck it. That's yeah, how we rock it, man. If you ain't rocking, then don't rock. But, Bitch. Uh, but yeah, man. Too much. It's been yours truly. Low key. John. Jay. We out this bitch.